So through the Building Evaluation Capacity Program, we actually developed a survey that was specifically for our Juneteenth Family Days, but we've used for every event that we offer since. One of the important things we did with that uh, program for uh, developing surveys is we actually built a way to capture feedback from the kids. Family days are for both adults and children, and we found that surveys, exit surveys, generally just focus on the adults who can read and write. But really, our end customer, the children. So we developed a way using marbles and smiley faces and jars to capture their feedback about what we were offering, and we still do it today. It's been several years. So the fact that they're being asked and that their opinion counts, I think, was the most important part of that process. In terms of the overall survey results, one of the things that we learned was that people have scheduling problems. We are all really over-programmed, and that in a day, if we offered an activity in the morning that was very special with an artist, we needed to also offer it in the afternoon so that people could come after soccer. So we ended up developing a program where we, in the course of a day, we would offer the same thing two or three times a day for timed events. That was a big finding and that changed the course of how we did our programming. This family day program has been in place for about 20 years. And in the early years, we had between 250 and 500 people on a given day. Um, we celebrated when we passed 600. I will tell you in 2012, we had 1,200 people come for Family Day. The Building Evaluation Capacity Program just raised our own consciousness about uh, seeking feedback from participants for all of our events.